Oh, the prankster here, uh, my second tutorial, which is going to be on creating a co-op mission. This is not a true co-op, um, this is a, on a deathmatch um, type mission, but with uh, players against AI. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, take one of the airfields, um, and what I've already done here is um, unlinked this entity. Normally, it'd be uh, the entity would be in link state. I'm going to delete the linked entry so the airfield can no longer be used to spawn. Um, if we go, there's no plane set up on it anyway. Uh, so we're going to create our own uh, spawning area using um, a fake airfield up here on the right under the, all the objects is airfields and we find fake field runway spawn uh, that's the second one down now we've got to put this on the um, left hand side of the field because uh, that's the first one to spawn and then they come five in a row four rows deep so put it on over here and uh, use a little red corner there to rotate And then all we got to do is name it. So say, call it 109 spawn, whatever you want, and add the 109 F4, unlimited quantity um, on runway on in air. We don't want it in air. On runway uh, means it will spawn with the engine running, or on run or on part means it will spawn still on the runway but uh, without the engine running so we'll have that one and say OK. So now we've got an unlimited number of 109s um, ready to spawn so OK. Um, in this configuration we can have 20 but we can obviously create extra fields if we needed to. Uh, right so that's the German's taken care of, almost, almost taken care of. The other thing we want to do is put on a little path for them to follow. So we're going to go to MCUs, which is all the controllers in the game, and find the icons. Uh, translator icon, and plonk an icon just at the end of the field there. And in this case, we're going to have a takeoff icon set for true for axis and set it to normal and change the colour to no red, no green and 200 on the blue so that will give a nice um, darkish blue okay so that's that's that so the next icon we want to add is where intercepts can happen so we'll put one over here on this town and we'll call that intercept and we're going to turn it into a recolor it again zero zero two hundred um, this time it's going to be a waypoint uh, set for the axis Okay, and uh, we didn't name that one, so we'll do that as takeoff. Okay, so we'll link the takeoff, the find target, and this is a target trigger. Uh, it's red uh, trigger. That's that's one object telling another object to do something. Um, so red is 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 sync telling, uh, and green um, is the object link. Uh, which links an object to, to, to a function. So we'll come to that in a second. What we've created here is just a, a line on the map, on the 2D map, showing the direction to go for the Germans. So that's the Germans done. Next we're going to do the Russian side. Um, first of all we're going to create an aircraft, uh, P2, and put it about there. Rotate it to face towards the German airfield, 
I'm going to uh, first of all create is a linked entity. So this press the create linked entity button that makes sure that the game uh, loads it at the beginning of the mission. And we'll unenable it. We don't want it to start in uh, functioning straight away. We're going to trigger it later. So we're going to put it to um, AI low. I'll keep the gunner rig as being too lethal and so it's a rusher um, it starts in the air it's uh, set a skin and a bomb load and that's it there we go there's the b2 created next we're going to uh, create a trigger so mcu uh, we'll find a complex trigger in here. Where is it? Complex trigger, there we go. So, which we're going to create to 7,000 meter radius. Okay. And we're going to associate it with the 109F4. Okay. So, what this does. Um, the complex trigger has a, a radius around it, and whenever um, the object we said uh, we specified here, which is the, the 109, enters that radius, it will trigger. Uh, you could set it to trigger to an object, uh, to a whole class of objects like the 109, uh, to a particular country, um, enters it, into, like Germans or Italians enters, um, then it triggers, or to uh, an actual object name. So we'll, we'll just leave it as it is for the moment. So you see the, the radius is much wider now. So when when the 19 gets to about here, it triggers. And we can use that to uh, activate the P2. So there's a couple of things. One thing we need to do first, and that's create a mission begins. This is, um, need, need at least one of these in every mission. And um, what this does is when the mission starts it sends out the first of the the triggers so we'll send that out to a timer so when the mission starts we want to send a trigger to the timer and the timer to delay for a few seconds just to let everything load uh, before we do anything else let the mission load properly okay once uh, the mission is all loaded the, the timer can be set to activate the trigger so now the trigger will work without without anything to activate it first. It will it wouldn't work at all. So now the trigger is is working and looking out for any any one and nines that come within that area. Now we're going to create um, another timer and link the trigger to it. So when the trigger is activated, it goes to this timer. You'll find that most uh, things in Battle Stalingrad have timers uh, to make them work properly. Um, basically, if you if you link things directly, if you, you could, could link the the um, say mission begins directly to the trigger, but it it may not work if the uh, there's too many processes going on at once. So, giving a little bit of delay is just uh, makes the the, get, the mission more reliable. Okay, so we're going to create a, a trigger called activate, and the timer. We'll go to the activate and the activate um, we use an object link to the p2 now the object link is green as you'll see and what that is it's associating the activating activation with the uh, p2 so what happens when the trigger goes off it goes to timer which triggers the activation which then tells the uh, plane to activate Right, so easy enough so far. Um, now we have to tell the, the P2 where to go. But one thing we haven't done yet is um, we set it to um, in air. And we need to set it to a height. So it spawns actually in the, at the, at the correct height. Otherwise it would just uh, spawn on the ground. So in, in its plane properties in Y, axis which is uh, which is um, 
the height axis will set it to a thousand meters. Okay, so it's at a thousand meters it spawns. Or oh, it doesn't spawn actually, it activates. Uh, spawning is different. Um, now we're going to create a, a waypoint which is uh, near the Durham base there. And we'll also set that at a thousand meters. Right, and we'll object link that to the plane. So now that uh, waypoint is associated with the, the airplane. And now we have to trigger the waypoint at a certain when it when it's needed. So we're going to put another timer near it. And we're going to, from this um, trigger timer, from the, the complex trigger, we're going to link that to the timer over here. And we'll give it that a little delay because we don't want, we want to give the aircraft time to activate properly before the waypoint starts. Okay, so, and then we just link the timer to the waypoint. Okay, so that's your basic uh, logic of, of, of flying around AI, AI aircraft. The, the waypoint has to be object linked to the aircraft and have a trigger to start it. The other thing the waypoint does, if we go into the advanced properties, um, either double click on the, the object or go in off uh, to the right little arrow here off the, to the right side of the basic properties. Um, and there's a number of settings here. The, the priority is how uh, well the AI obey its command to, to reach the waypoint. If it's low, it can wander off and do things that it finds more interesting. Medium, it, it will go to the waypoint, but it might def it will defend itself on the way. High, it will go to the waypoint and not defend itself, just, just fly all out for the waypoint. We'll set it to medium. Radius, this is the radius uh, around the waypoint, um, just when the aircraft gets towards the waypoint, if it, it sets it off and link, it's going to link it to the next object, we'll show that in a second. And, more, and speed, so say 375 uh, kilometers, that'll be the speed that the, the plane will fly. Okay, so we've got a waypoint there, which will make the plane fly at 375 kilometers an hour at 1,000 uh, meters. And all that. Next, we're going to have a attack command. We want to attack the airfield. So, area attack, we'll set that to a 500 meter radius. And attack ground. Um, attack air targets, obviously, attacks air targets. Attack ground targets. Attack ground, it will attack um, individual. It will attack the ground as a whole. Attack ground targets, it will attack any any objects on the ground like vehicles. We're actually going to get to attack the ground so it would just bomb across the runway and not worry about trying to pick out individual targets. So we'll set that for say seven minutes. I'll give it a couple of bomb runs if it needs it. A medium priority is fine. So, okay. So now we've got when it gets to this waypoint, it when it reaches the yellow circle then the waypoint will trigger and we can send the trigger on to the ground attack. So the airplane flies to the waypoint, that triggers the ground attack, the, air, the ground attack then links back to the, with an object link to the airplane and tells the airplane to fly on and bomb the target. Fair enough, That's a, um, so we've done the attack. Now we want to send the plane home and land. So we're going to create another waypoint over by an airfield. Should be over here. We'll use this airfield over here. So plonk the waypoint about there. Put the waypoint at 1,000 meters. Set it to 200 meter radius, 375. And we could just link the area attack to the waypoint. So after seven minutes, so if it gets to the waypoint, it would then um, set that off. But we don't want to do that because we want to put the delay in, allow it to attack properly. Um, so we're going to put a, a seven minute delay here on our timer. So seven minutes, say two seconds. So, and we're going to link this waypoint to the timer. 
So when the aircraft reaches the, the, the waypoint here, it sets off this attack and also a timer. So the aircraft will go and attack uh, the airfield and after seven minutes, this will set off a the timer will set off this waypoint and then the aircraft will fly to this waypoint. So this waypoint needs to be linked to the aircraft with an object link. There you go. So all waypoints have to be linked with an object linked to the aircraft and triggered. So that's that one and now that we can put a landing command in. So we'll go to land command land, plonk it in the middle of the airfield and this time we can just put a direct trigger onto that and link that to the object, link that to the aircraft. Bam. Okay, that's the mission logic pretty much. It will fly to the first waypoint, fly on and bomb the target. After seven minutes it will fly to this waypoint and then it will land. And that's pretty much it. Um, what you can then do is add more aircraft. Um, you can either create a new aircraft from the list here um, as a wingman, or we can copy and paste. So we can left click on it, then right click, copy, right click, paste. And if we link, if we create, um, So let's just have a look at that air, second aircraft, aircraft we created. Um, it's in air. It's all, all all the parameters we set on the previous one. So that's great. Now we're going to link this um, as a wingman to the first plane. So we're going to, if you right click on it, go to, you've got properties, which is this box, the advanced properties we've seen. Um, you've also got the, the commands in stepped object menu, and one of them is add target. So we're going to add the first aircraft as a target. And now this has become a wingman and just follows the, the first object um, aircraft around, does whatever he, he does. And if this first aircraft is shot down, then he, he'll take over all his commands that will follow all the same waypoints and uh, land etc. So I think that's pretty much everything set up. So now we've got um, two aircraft attacking the uh, airfield and you can set multiple um, wingman. Um, really you can set an infinite amount but the, well it's always 8, 8, 9, 10 but it's probably best to restrict it to about 5 maybe 6 maximum otherwise the, the AI get confused so let's check everything um, we've got a mission begin we've got um, it's linked to the trigger um, and the trigger's linked to set everything else off that's pretty much all you need um, often, if a mission doesn't work for whatever reason, you, you've just missed uh, either an object ring, link or trigger, so it's just worth checking through, making sure all the all the uh, all these waypoints and stuff are object linked to the aircraft and have something to set them off, and then you should be pretty much okay. And we'll just save the mission, and that's it. Welcome to your first co-op.